racing. So recently there has been uh, COP26 in Scotland, um, and I know that's not long finished, and I would love to know your thoughts on how COP26 actually ended up finishing and how that will affect business moving forward. Yeah, so um, it's it finally uh, ended in a bit of a, a rush, I think, and uh, there was a lot of activity right at the very end, but they did get some very good things have come out of it, and there's been a huge amount of... Um, pledges by different countries to do to do different things which is really good and a lot of money pledged as well I think the proof will be in the pudding as to whether the countries now implement it but in the UK um, some of the big announcements that that have come out of it is that no um, electricity generated from coal will be allowed in the UK by 2024 so that's a really big thing uh, all new HGVs uh, will need to be net zero emissions from 2040 um, so um, electric HDVs. Yeah. Um, the companies um, by 2023, um, the big companies, so those over 250 employees, um, will need to um, submit corporate net transition, net zero transition plans as well. So, so there'll also be um, an international uh, sustainability standards board as well. So um, they can establish global baselines so that financial investments and risk can be um, compared. So you can compare Apple with apples, which will be mm. really good. Um, and I think, you know, people are really going to have to, or, you know, Boris Johnson is saying that we've really got to pull all the stops out and absolutely we, we do have a short amount of time to do this. Um, so we yeah. do really need to get going. Um, the other thing that's um, happening is that um, if you're a, a business that wants to go for a tender with the government, which is worth over £5 million, um, you do actually have to show that you have a credible net zero strategy as well. So, um, you know, companies have to go away and do that before they can even be considered to put on the framework as well. So in terms of how it affects your business, um, yes you can very actually be be asked to produce one of these as well before you'll even be considered for the job and I think that will filter down through the supply chain to the smaller companies as well yeah because obviously as you said before like it, all the supplying companies contribute to these larger companies carbon footprint don't they because just because you're not the same business it's all part of the connection chain and so you have to improve everywhere is, That's is right. that correct yeah. yes yeah, because it's your whole value chain. So it's it's people who supply you and who supply them.